I'm a poet, one that just happens to write in a forest. My forest is the Rainbow Forest right here in South Charlotte, North Carolina. When I enter this forest or any other collection of trees, I never know what I'm going to write about. These aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Rainbow Forest. Chapter number 357, February 25th, 2023. The forest floor is evolving. Spring has arrived way too early. Temperatures near 80 degrees. And it's still February. Today, it's a light spring rain, which never injures my moment because without nature's water, life on land can get a little rough, especially for these trees. I often wonder how truth-filled a tree's rings really are. Most of my research points more at how the climate is measured inside the rings. Past climate conditions are studied. One expert says, tree growth is very complex, as is the interaction with the surrounding environment. I remember as a child, I would run over to the tree stump and immediately start counting the rings. I don't see too much of that stuff today, mainly because the modern human wants to be in control of their trees. And if it's wild they want, well, then they just travel to the nearby state forest. My forest is somewhat rare in the way that it sits inside a community. And in this present moment of now, all the landowners seem to be in love with it. But it wasn't that way when I first arrived in 1992. The tree rings, do they speak the truth? And as humans, would we understand what was a growing year versus what was a struggling year? They used to teach this kind of stuff in science. We would run out there and just look at it and see that, oh my God, it must have been a horrible winter because look how thin that ring is. What would happen if we were that way? That each year we grew a new ring. What sort of stories would we be sharing with the future? The tree rings, the human rings. I write because I want the story to be shared. I want people to know what it was like to be a part of this generation. Through writing, you're able to communicate with eyes that may have never met you. But does a tree keep its rings for the same purpose? Tree rings create paper. From paper, I place my words. Those words have reached this studio. This studio reaches around the world. Tree rings, the stories. Let's get back into nature and see how it has something for us as we grow in ways that really feel like it's beyond us. We're out of control, but we can be in control if we just sit down and listen to the stories. I'm Errol. These aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Rainbow Forest.